Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Enescu Suarez Online, presented by the Romanian Cultural Institute in New York. And, well, by me, because you are in my New York home and surrounded by some of my friends who are very well behaving, wearing masks and social distancing, which I advise you all to do because we need to stay safe and we need to stay healthy. I'm delighted to have been asked by the director, Dorian Brania, and program manager, Luca Cimpoyashu, to provide half an hour of music for you tonight. It is a difficult time for us artists, and I find that we, each one of us, deal with it in a different way, unsurprisingly. Some have an incredible online presence, and they uh, give us performances and video clips almost every other day. And some, like me, are a little bit uh, more secretive. It's not really about being secretive, though. I would love to be there for you, but in person, live, and share with you the beauty and wonder of music the way it's really meant to be. But since we can't do that yet, I think this is a wonderful idea, and I am thankful for being given the opportunity to uh, play for you a few uh, wonderful pieces tonight. I will start with the adagio from the first suite by George Enescu, which he wrote when he was barely 16, and perhaps today to our ears who are used to a different style from Enescu, this particular piece sounds a bit more like Bach. But what's wrong with Bach? And especially in these very troubled times that we live through, I think this is a work that has a lot of nostalgia, but at the same time, an incredible uplifting and, and pure quality. Enescu was already a voice, as he shows us with this beautiful, beautiful movement, and I hope you will enjoy it, and it will soothe your spirit, and it will help you uh, navigate a little better this troublesome period.
Now we are getting into the core section of tonight's program, which is essentially an homage to the Cuban pianist and composer Ernesto Lecuona. You may not know a lot about Lecuona, but I'm sure you have heard at some point in your life a version of Malagueña, whether it was a piano solo or orchestra or some kind of disco cover. But um, the truth is, pretty much the same thing happened to me. I knew a little bit, but not nearly as much as I should have. I fell in love with his music in the past couple of years when I got a chance to study a lot more of his music and realize what a consummate artist he was as a composer and as a performer because he truly played his own piano pieces in a way that is uh, truly very hard to beat. I will pay homage to Lecona in my upcoming CD project, and among uh, the composers that I believe really influenced him are Debussy, Chopin, Gershwin, and some others, which I will not unveil right now. I will start now with uh, Debussy, uh, the first piece of the Children's Corner Suite, Dr. Gradus at Parnassum. Then we move on to Chopin. Lecona, in fact, was called uh, at times the Cuban Chopin and some other times the Cuban Gershwin. So here you are, you're going to get you're going to get Lecona sandwiched between Chopin and Gershwin. So you'll hear Chopin, the revolutionary etude and three Ecossaises, then a group of four pieces by Lecona. And at the very end, a quick selection of Gershwin, I got rhythm. And then I will be back and introduce the very last piece. Thank you. 
Thank you. 
you and thank you so much for joining me on this evening. I want to say a few words about the last piece because it's a very special piece to me. A couple of weeks ago, truly just about two, I got a Facebook message from a dear friend of mine in Romania, Andrei Tudor, an exceptional composer, very young and very, very talented, whom I know for a number of years now, and I have heard some of his works and love them all. And I was so touched and really honored when he sent me his latest piano work, which is called Rondo a la Crazy. And crazy it is indeed, as you will be able to hear. I fell in love with it immediately, and I decided that I want to share it with you right away, even though, of course, it's been only two weeks of practicing, and I hope I can still improve upon it. Uh, but I want to thank so much, Andre, for trusting me with this piece and for allowing me to play it for you in the Enesco Suarez Online because it's truly an uplifting piece that every time I get to play and practice, it lifts my spirits. And that's exactly the thing that I hope will happen to you as well when you listen to it. Thank you, Romanian Cultural Institute of New York. And thank you, dear audience, for being here tonight. I hope to see you very soon and to play live for you in the concert halls. Stay well and stay healthy. Thank you. 